So what's going on guys? It's been a while. Uh, I'm currently in a city called Asuncion in Paraguay. I've never been here before, never been to Paraguay before period so it's my first time here. Uh, just arrived yesterday so I thought I'd go for a walk and check out the city a little bit. I think there's like a big shopping mall like not too far from here so I'll go there. I think I'll need to buy some stuff from there. So. Yeah, let's take a walk with me. This is like my neighborhood, basically. Uh, like I said, I moved here yesterday. The neighborhood is called San Cristobal. And it's like right next to another popular area called Villa Mora. Villa Mora is like the, the place that most expats and tourists uh, stay at. But I've decided to go to like the next, the next neighborhood down because I thought it'd be a little bit quieter. Yeah, I usually like to stay away from like the really, really touristy places, so... But yeah, San Cristobal so far seems really nice, like this is my neighbourhood now. Yeah, there's definitely some nice houses here and it's quite peaceful and quiet here. So yeah, so far so good. So I don't know too much about this place to be honest. Like I said, I've, I've never been here before and prior to coming here, I didn't do any research basically. So that's kind of how I like to travel to be honest. I just find a place that seems interesting and just buy a ticket and go there and find out what it's like for myself when I'm there. But yeah, so for the last three months I've been living in Buenos Aires in Argentina, like one of my favorite cities. So in this video, I'll probably be doing a lot of comparisons between Asuncion and Buenos Aires for, the, for that reason. And one thing I know for sure, just from being here for just over a day now, is that this place is definitely cheaper than Buenos Aires. Like I went to the supermarket yesterday and I bought some groceries there and I paid something like 45 pounds altogether. That's like what, like 55 US dollars or something like that. And um, the food that I got was quite a lot. And I was just thinking, if this was in Buenos Aires, I'd be paying like at least 70 for that. Like at least 70 pounds. So yeah, it's definitely a lot cheaper, especially the food here so far. Uh, the rent for the apartment is about the same. When I was staying in Buenos Aires, I was staying in Palermo in like a nice neighborhood and I was renting a nice little studio apartment there and I was paying around 550 pounds per month. And here, in this apartment, it's very similar to the one in Buenos Aires and it's about the same price as well. So, Airbnb prices, I would say, are, qu are quite similar. But yeah, the food here is uh, yeah, definitely cheaper. One thing I've noticed about Buenos Aires and Argentina in general is that it's definitely not as cheap as it used to be. Like the prices have gone up drastically. They seem to be going up all the time. But yeah, one thing that surprises me so far is how quiet it is. This is like the weekend, it's Saturday today. And it's around two o'clock in the afternoon. And yeah, it's very quiet. There's hardly anyone around, as you can see. And this is like one of the main areas too. Like I said, it's like right next to Villa Moro. And it's still this quiet. I think everyone's probably just at home, like, because it's so hot. That's another thing I've noticed as well. It's definitely hotter than it is in Buenos Aires right now. So today it's around 30 degrees Celsius. Yesterday it was 32 and it was very humid yesterday too. So yeah, it's definitely warmer here. Also, I've noticed that there's a lot of new buildings popping up. So it seems to be developing, which is a good sign. Like this one over here, as you can see. A new apartment building. And there's quite a lot of them popping up. Like the, the one that I'm staying in right now, that's quite a new apartment building too. So yeah, like I said, it's a good sign. It looks like it's developing well. There's another new apartment building as well, right next to this one here that's been, that's been developed.
yeah, I've just been walking for the past like 20, 25 minutes or so. And I'm just near this uh, shopping mall. I'll show you now. I wonder if it's going to be busy or it's going to be empty like the rest of the city so far. But yeah, man, it's nice here. Very quiet, but um, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so this looks like more of a food place. So it's got like a lot of restaurants here. They've got like TGI Fridays over there and like a bunch of other little restaurants there that are pretty nice. So yeah, I thought it was going to be like more of a shopping mall, but it's not. But there is another shopping mall just over there. So I'll check that out as well. But yeah, this is nice. I like what they've done like here with this little stream and everything. Yeah, it's cool. On the second floor there, there's like more little restaurants. Yeah, this is like a nice place to go on a date here. So this is the other shopping mall that's just across the road from the other one where it was before. This is more of a proper shopping centre whereas the other one that was more of a, a place to go for food. So let's check this one out. Del Sol. It's got Forever 21 over there. Starbucks over there. There's a Burger King somewhere there, there's a Mostaza. It'll be interesting to see the prices of some of these places just to compare to Buenos Aires, like I'm sure it's going to be a lot more cheaper here. Like the clothes in Buenos Aires, in Argentina in general, so expensive, like double the price of the clothes that you get in England. Like for example, if you go to Zara in Buenos Aires, the prices are like double. It's annoying. So yeah, let's check out what it is here. Hyundai. Yeah, so I've just been looking around at some of the stores. I just checked out the Nike store behind me. 
And I would say that so far the prices here are about half the price of the ones that you see in Buenos Aires. So yeah, definitely a lot cheaper. Similar to the type of prices that you would see back in England, for example. Yeah, and this is the food place, the food court. Yeah, looking at the prices of some of these restaurants, I would say for sure it's also cheaper than Buenos Aires. Probably, probably about around 20 to 30 percent at least. Yeah, so apparently that first mall that I went to is like a proper mall, it has like shopping and stuff just like the other one that I just went to then, so I'm gonna go back now like that's it in front of me there, you can see it's got like a cinema, it's got a Zara and all that it's got, so yeah, it's not just a food store like I, like I first thought it was it has a lot of other things going on as well so this is back inside that first shopping place that I went to this is like the other side of it so at the front they had that food section and then behind it they had all this. So I'm just in Zara, just gonna check out the prices here. Already I've picked out a couple of t-shirts and I've noticed that the prices are like literally half the price of the Zara in Buenos Aires. So yeah, it just seems to be everywhere that the clothes just here in Paraguay are just way cheaper than the clothes in Buenos Aires. I'm not sure why though because these countries are like bordering each other and Brazil is the same. Brazil is like the same prices as here in Paraguay so I'm not sure why Argentina is so much more expensive. It's weird. Like this t-shirt is 27 pounds basically. So that's like what, $38 or something like that, US. In Buenos Aires, this would be like twice the price of this. So everything is like twice, everything here is like half, half the price. There's a cinema in here, so I wanna check out the prices of a cinema ticket. Should be interesting. Gladiator 2, <laughs> an unnecessary remake, well, an unnecessary sequel, shall I say. I hope they don't mess it up. The Joker 2, well, this was another unnecessary sequel that they actually did mess up, so... Hopefully they don't do the same with Gladiator 2.
so yeah I just had a look at the prices and basically it's around five pounds or four pounds 87 the equivalent of per person so yeah it's relatively cheap actually it's good prices um, it's a little bit more expensive in Buenos Aires for sure um, but yeah overall I think the prices here are quite similar to what it was in Brazil so yeah it's pretty good really good so guys I'm back at the apartment where I'm staying and um, I'll just show you my quick view I'm just I'm just sitting on the balcony here this is the view yeah so I might do like a little um, apartment tour in my next video just to show you guys um, what what a 500 pound per month Airbnb apartment looks like here in Asuncion so yeah I thought I'd just do a quick recap of my first impressions of today obviously this was my first full day here in Asuncion and to be honest I'm pleasantly surprised like I said I've never been here before never been to Paraguay before and um, I didn't really know what to expect because you know I didn't really do much research on this place but yeah man I'm just pleasantly surprised um, the first thing that struck out of me, if, um, which was very evident just because of the fact that I've spent the last three months living in Buenos Aires, was when I came here, is like how much um, cheaper it is. You know, like I've been coming to Buenos Aires pretty much every year for the past five years now. And um, yeah, like I've just noticed that how much more expensive it is now than it used to be back then. Um, I think overall it's still like cheaper than it is to live in England just because of the prices of the rent there in Buenos Aires are still quite a lot cheaper than it is in England but overall like everything else like the prices of the food the clothes just everything has just gone up but here in Asuncion it's definitely like 40 to 50 percent cheaper so yeah that really surprised me um, but yeah I've still got to check out the food here so if you guys got any recommendations for you know any traditional Paraguayan food any like nice restaurants to check out here in Asuncion just let me know, drop them down in the comment section below and uh, I might do a little video just checking them out because I'm really looking forward to checking out the food here. And um, yeah, I'll be staying here for the next four weeks anyway, so I've got a lot, a lot of time to uh, check out the whole city and everything, check out the vibe and really get to know the place more. Um, so yeah, I'll be definitely looking forward to that. But anyway guys, if you've got any more questions or anything, drop them down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.